Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Unity Making RPG series. This is episode 34, and we're going to continue on with our camera controls. We're going to continue where we left off last time. Uh, quick review, and then we'll jump right into the script. Uh, last time, uh, we were, we built a new script. We Well, first we detached the camera, our main camera, from our capsule, from our player. And uh, we moved it behind him. And uh, then we tapped, we attached the script the camera controller to it, and then we uh, dragged our capsule to our camera target. That's what the camera is going to be looking at. And uh, if I go ahead and press play, I, you can see how we're moving the camera around. We have our limits. You know, I'm I'm trying to move as far down as I can. And I can't, and uh, that's that clamping that I was talking about last time. And you can see I'm looking up, uh, but the only problem is. Our player goes away from us, and we don't want that. We want to, uh, we want this camera to follow it. And uh, today we're going to work on that. And basically, that's going to come down to we need to be updating the camera's position based on the target, and we need to, uh, and we're going to work on scrolling using our scroll wheel. Uh, so go ahead and uh, open up our camera controller script in Mono Develop. I already have it open here. This is where we left off. Uh, not too many. We have a we wrote our clamp angle function, which I demonstrated with how it clamps down, how far our uh, camera can go. We have our late update, uh, which if you remember, I'll go ahead and write a comment. Remember late update updates after update function does. So since uh, since our camera we'll say since our camera controls controls are not as important as our movement we want our movement to occur first basically this is just saying that we the movement is more important than us moving our camera and uh, we want to be able to get that movement in uh, as precise as possible first and then we'll update our camera uh, that's all it does. Start still the same. Start does it as soon as the script runs. This is what we do at the beginning. So, like I said, I wanted to cover uh, the scroll wheel, uh, getting it rotating in and out. Excuse me, rotating our camera in and or moving it in and out, so you can have a distance and uh, look back and look up. So what we're going to do is uh, first we're going to create a few variables. Um, we're going to create probably about five five or six variables and they're all going to deal with distance so the first ones that we're going to write we're going to write uh, a couple of that we're going to do a public float and it's going to be our max uh, we'll call it max view distance and I'm going to set that equal to 25 for now and we're going to do public float we're going to do min view distance I'm going to set that equal to probably 1. Uh, so, uh, basically what, what these are is they're setting how far the camera is going to be allowed to zoom out and how close it's going to be able to zoom in. Uh, I made them public so that we can adjust them. So, uh, we can play around and find the real niche, or the, not niche, but the the real perfect spot for your uh, project and then once you do you can get rid of the public and just make it private and keep that value if you want or you can always keep it public it's not a big deal uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, start with a uh, we're going to do a couple distance variables so the first ones are going to be uh, we'll have a public one or we'll make them all private actually we'll do public float and we're going to do distance and this is going to be the starting distance of where the camera starts at and we're going to just say it's at uh, let's say it's at 3 and then we're going to do private float and we're going to do desired distance and we'll set that to nothing we're going to use it down in a formula we'll do private float again and we're going to do corrected distance and I'll go over more of these in a second. The last variable that you need is we're and we're gonna make it a public. I'm actually gonna go up here just to kind of keep it a little organized and put all of our publics together. We're gonna go public float int, and uh, it's gonna be called zoom rate. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and sign this value of uh, 
We'll do 30 for now. But uh, this is going to be... Let me comment this. I need to get better at using comments so you guys can uh, refer back to it. Uh, max view distance. Uh, how far the camera will zoom out. <clears throat> uh, how close the camera will zoom in. How fast the camera will zoom. Starting distance away from player. And then we'll just say used for calculations. Used for calculations. All right. We've got some comments up there. Hopefully it helps you out. Uh, so now we're going to go down and uh, we're going to jump right into finding, looking for our mouse scroll wheel. So, and what we're going to do is we're just going to calculate our desired distance. Our desired distance, uh, so we're actually go down in our late, in our, ugh, excuse me, go down in our late update function, go under our uh, quaternion rotation, this is where we're going to be putting it. But basically what we want to do is our desired distance is where the zoom wheel is going to put us. This is where the player, you, or you know whoever wants to be. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and write desired distance. We'll set that to minus equals. And we're going to say input dot get axes. And we're going to say mouse scroll wheel. Uh, now, if you don't have this mouse scroll wheel, you can go ahead and add it. It should be by default in your um, in uh, the input manager. And basically, this is just going to pick up a value when you go scroll up or down, whichever. It's going to find a value. It's going to uh, either add it if it's negative or subtract it if it's positive to your desired distance. And this is where like I said where we want to be now we're gonna multiply it by time dot delta time so it's gonna give us a smoother uh, basically this is gonna make the uh, scrolling smooth and it's gonna make it go every second but that could be too slow which again uh, is alright if, if you want it slower but that's why we're gonna have our zoom rate so we're gonna put zoom rate in there and then we're gonna multiply again uh, by the absolute value of our desired distance. Now, if we didn't use absolute value, so go to mathf.abs and we're going to go desired distance. Now, you might be wondering, you know, what, what, why are we using uh, absolute value here in this case? Or maybe not. But basically, if this is negative, if this ends up negative since we're subtracting, uh, then it's going to give us you know, a larger. Um, Desired value, desired value, because negative two negatives add. So we will make it positive. So we'll always have, we're always going to be multiplying this larger value by a positive number instead of a negative number. Uh, so basically, we uh, this this little function here is we're looking at our mouse scroll wheel. We're going to get a positive negative value based on which way the mouse wheel is turning. Okay, and we're going to be multiplying it by our delta timer or the time dot delta time which is basically every second per frame and then our zoom rate and then finally the absolute value of our desired distance and all this together is going to uh, calculates calculates the distance the player wants their camera okay so now the next thing we need to do is clamp our. Um, we want to clamp the view distance, so we're using our same function again. So basically, we have this raw value, which is per perfect. This is what we want, but what we need to do is clamp it down because it might be too much or too let. You know, we don't want them to be able to continually move. So that's why we have our max view distance or our min view distance. This is what we're going to be clamping. So we're going to do. Uh, desired 
distance is going to be the first variable. If you remember, it takes we can go down. It takes an angle, which is our desired distance here, and then we're going to take our min view distance and our max view distance. I don't know why Intel senses it picking it up, but I'll go up here, copy and paste it. So now we have our actual actual desired difference, and we're just going to go ahead and set our desire to a corrected. Not a big thing, but uh, come on, desire distance. There we go. Okay, so real quick, what we're doing here again, we're using our clamp function that we wrote down, clamp angle function, which I didn't. There we go. I don't know how to use math f clamp. So we're using math f dot clamp. Okay, yeah, so we're using the clamp function from math f this time because we don't need these angle restrictions. Uh, so if you look on the um, the documentation for clamp, uh, you can read more about it, and I suggest you do, just so you can understand more of what we're doing, because uh, it's hard for me to explain. But if you remember, we're actually clamping down here. We're just calculating our angle first, which we don't need to do in this case, because we already calculated our angle here. So we can't actually use this function. So we're just going to go ahead and use mathf clamp, since we already have our calculated angle and our min and max up here. So we're going to, this is going to, again, it's going to do the same thing I said. It's going to clamp down where that camera can go, but... Uh, we don't we can't use this because we are already determined our angle with this uh these two this formula up here or i mentioned so <clears throat> after that the next thing we want to do is uh we have scrolling and i'm going to go ahead and uh click uh control to save um you won't i would show any unity but you won't see anything in unity because we haven't updated the camera's position, so the camera won't even move. We've calculated the distance we want to move to, but we don't, haven't done that yet. So what we need to do is make a vector 3, and it's going to be called position. Okay, We'll set that equal to our camera target dot position. So this is, it's, we're getting right now, we're getting our, uh, the player, the capsule's position or whatever your target may be, but in this case it's our player capsule's position, which is a vector 3, remember that it has 3 coordinates, it's 3D space, so it's X, Y, and Z. We're going to subtract our rotation times vector 3 dot forward, which uh, uh, in a second I'll explain, and desired distance our angle. Okay? going to controls here and what this is doing our desired distance this rotation vector 3 forward is actually uh, base it's it's doing uh, cross multiplication uh, so it's going let's say we have X Y Z here let me put this in a comment hold on so it's what it's doing it's going we have our rotation, which is again x, y, z. It's also vector three, and then we're multiplying by our another vector, which is vector three forward. Which vector three forward, I believe, is zero one zero, and then we're multiplying by a scalar or a uh, just a one variable, which is our angle in degrees. So. Uh, if you don't know what cross multiplication is, it's a, it's a way to uh, calculate. It's ha it's a way to multiply uh, vectors of certain of different sizes. Uh, you should definitely go look that up if you're going to be working in 3D space. It's it's helpful. But uh, basically, what we're doing is we're we're doing cross multiplying our um, our x y z value here, or rotation or vector three forward, and then we're multiplying by the scalar, which is our angle, and it's we're going to subtract this value because it from our position. So then we have, so basically once we do this is we're, we're going to be left with another vector 3 and we're going to subtract this vector 3 from this vector 3 which will give us an updated position of where we want uh, our camera to be. So then now under transform rotation we're going to go transform 
dot position is going to be equal to that position that we just calculated. And if you remember, I'll, re I'll make a comment. This transform dot position uh, rotation and position is pulling or or setting it equal to whatever this script is attached. So when you call transform within the script, the script looks for the transform the script is attached to. So hopefully you understand that. Hopefully that's clear enough. Uh, one, what we're doing here with the uh, multiplying our vectors sub and then subtracting from another vector to get a new vector and then we're applying that new vector here. We're setting this new vector equal to the camera's position. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Unity. Hopefully we don't have any errors. We got a few warnings, which is fine, because uh, we're not using everything yet. Uh, going to go ahead and press play though, and it should we should have a zoom function, which we do. Uh, as you see, you can change around the zoom rate, but now we're following the camera, uh, the player around, which is what we want. Uh, we can't. As you can see, this is the max. I'm sc I'm still scrolling. You probably can't hear it, but I'm using the mouse. I'm trying to go as close as I can. Now I'm going to go zoom in, zoom in, and you see it's focused on its center. Uh, we can change that later if you want. Uh, but basically, we have our camera. You know, there's still some issues with it, uh, namely this. We don't want that, which we're going to work on in the video. But basically, we got our camera down. We have our camera. Uh, it works. Uh, what I suggest you do if you don't like it or if you don't like... Um, kind of how uh, how far it zooms out uh, go ahead and mess around with the uh, the public variables that we had set mess around with the zoom rate the max and min view distance uh, play, play around with the scripts you know save it you know what I what I suggest would be helpful for probably for everyone is uh, take the script that I worked on with you guys and save it and then just create a new one and copy and paste and change around the variables if you don't understand how things work and just play around with it for a little bit and uh, you should definitely it'll help you understand kind of what the math is doing and what the uh, the different functions that are doing but uh, I'm pretty happy with the camera um, what we could do too uh, is create a saved variable eventually so when the player exits the game, it saves the position of the camera uh, so that it doesn't automatically start right behind the player. Uh, one thing I'd probably do is change the zoom rate, make it a little faster. It's kind of slow, but uh, otherwise I like it. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here today. In the next video, we'll probably work on doing the. Uh, uh, camera physics basically it's not too much physics stuff but, but basically we don't want the camera to be uh, going through objects and uh, we want the camera to hit an object recognize realize that it hit something and kind of go back to the player and uh, so we're gonna work on that in the next video I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video I hope you learned something and I hope the camera works out for you if you have any questions Leave them in the comments, suggestions, again, leave them in the comments. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. All the support helps. Spread the word. Um, the new video uh, for the new series come out pretty soon. Um, I'm still making some changes, final changes on which game I'm going to be doing. If you guys have some simple games, write them down, suggestions, like I said before, and uh, we can make a couple more games together. So, anyways, have a good day, and I'll talk to you guys next time.